Heading through the entrance here at the Miracle Garden, three things immediately strike you. First, the smell, then it's the colour, and then there's the scale. This place is enormous. Since it opened on Valentine's Day back in 2013, almost 8 million people have come to take a look around the Miracle Garden. And I'm off to meet the man whose idea it all was. Dubai's full of surprises and to me, where did you get your inspiration from? Actually, my inspiration, first of all, I am a landscaping engineer. And um, since we, I was a child, always reading about heaven, paradise, and it is full with the flowers. So always this idea in my brain. And always when I see my kids playing, you know, um, games on screens, on TV, always I, I come to my mind, really I need something for people to go out. So this has inspired me to create something to take people outside, to take people to nature. And it's on such a grand scale. You know, so many flowers here. How many flowers do you have in this park? We are always sustaining above 50 million flowers. 50 million yes. flowers? Yeah. This place must take a lot of water. I mean, where do you get it from and how do you keep it sustainable? Actually, we are using the uh, recycled water uh, from uh, Dubai municipality. So all the uh, grey water of the city, Dubai municipality recycle it and pump it to us. And from our side, we refilter this water and convert it to very high quality water. And what about your challenges? What's the biggest challenge for you? Actually, the biggest challenge is just the wind. If we have a strong wind, it is really our best challenge, which we can't control it. We can control pest, we can control irrigation, temperature, everything it is could be controlled, but not the wind. This place is like the Chelsea Flower Show on steroids. But you know what I'm looking forward to? It's when all these people leave and I get to hang out with the gardeners and find out how they keep everything looking so immaculate. This place takes on a completely different aura at night. It's actually quite scary having those giant animals staring down at you. They, they, they feel more lifelike. Now, uh, it's just gone 10 o'clock and it's only myself here and 200 gardeners that work all night to keep this place looking pristine. And I'm gonna find one of them now. Hello, Andy. How, How are you? Yeah, nice very to good. meet you. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thank you uh, very this much. This place is so different at night. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yeah. And, and what's going on here? It seems like it's raining. Should I have brought my umbrella? No need for that. <laughs> Just we are doing our irrigation work. Okay. Yes. We wait till the people leave the garden, then we start our irrigation. Is there anything I can do to of help? Of course you can do. As you can see here, we are approaching the sunflower. Mm -hmm. You can see how it is blooming, it's nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, so we need to keep it beautiful, as you said. Yes. Now. How we would do that, of course, we need to get rid of the dried uh, ones uh -huh. to trim it, prune it from time to time. Okay. So if you would like, you can yeah. try by yourself. Yeah. So I'm looking okay. for these dried yes, of sunflowers course. where the leaves have of gone. Of course, the wilted ones, yeah. the dried ones. Actually, I was speaking to one of the gardeners earlier and, and he says, you know, you almost develop like this relationship and a connection with the plants. I, I, I'm not even messing about. I feel like they're speaking to me, you know? The, these ones are saying, stay away from me with those scissors. <laughs> stay away from me, you mad man. Now, this looks a little bit more complicated than what I was doing earlier. Yes, of course. Yeah, I <laughs> Why is he shaving the clock? I will not allow you to do it. <laughs> Don't come try on, it. Come on, come <laughs> on. 
And the clock, is it accurate? It is accurate, of course. It is connected with the GPS. You can check your timing now. Yes, have a look. 10.46, 10.46. Good Same. job. Good job, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, it's almost time for bed for me, but the team of gardeners will be working here throughout the night until the gardens reopen up to the public at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, making sure that all of those millions of flowers are in blooming, tip-top condition.